What's up, you beautiful people? I'm the Danger Dave, and welcome back to Night City. And I'm fucking tired of it being always nighttime. It seems like every time I play this goddamn game, it's always like fucking nighttime. We're gonna fix this cookie wagon real fucking quick. There we go. That's a little bit better. I'm a, a creature of the night. I'm a night owl. But sometimes I just want to see the sunlight, you know? That was me when I was playing Grand Theft Auto V for the first time. It always seemed like it was fucking nighttime when I played that game. Got kind of boring very fast. Uh, but I think some more side missions are in order. So we're going to call my badass car. Hello. I'm gonna go find some cool shit to do. Uh, oh, actually, hang on. No, 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 no. Uh, we actually do have stuff we can do. I was going to do, uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sandra Dorset mission. Uh, Sandra Dorset, that chick you pulled out of Scav's Nest. Man, give someone an inch and they take a mile. This data bank must be pretty special to her if she ain't willing, even willing to go through a fixer. Well, damn. Now I'm kind of curious. Gonna help out or play by the rules of the game? Uh, she did ask us not to uh, crack into it. I probably won't. You smoking pink shit over there? Whatever. Got distracted. I will see you guys. Where is this? Holy mother of fucking shit. He is all the way over there. Luckily, I have a fast car. So I will see you guys. Administration has announced plans to reopen uh, no. Uh, we, no, 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 no. We are listening to, uh... Whatever. I'll see you guys there. Alright, folks. So, I'm closing in. You know what? The driving still needs work in this game. It just doesn't ever feel like I have absolute control over it. You know? Okay. This is the same place where I found the other data bank. <laughs> okay. There were like some, uh, hang on, guys. Okay. Sorry about that. Somebody was calling me. Hello? Uh, is there anybody in here? in the world? Hmm. Who are you? Mm hmm. I don't really know exactly. This is not at all what I thought was I was going to run into. Um. Hmm. I thought there was going to be, like, a bunch of dudes here. I mean, I did clear this out a while ago. But I thought it would be, like, repopulated, you know? Is there anybody in here? Liberty. Take it. Hmm. Oh, 
I guess I can't take that. Okay, last time it was like downstairs. So that's why I had. I just figured there was gonna be dudes all over the place here. I just shot like an innocent person. I thought they were a bad person. It's upstairs? Over here. Yeah, see, this is like the same place and everything. What? Militech incendiary round. Explodes on impact. Okay. Well, it says it's upstairs, so I guess I'll go up there. Uh, that was a really good pistol, actually. Hang on. Let me look at my inventory real quick. Interesting. I already had access. Hmm. Well, okay then. There it is. Okay, that was a lot more simpler than I thought. V. You're V, right? You find the data bank? Right to the chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that. Well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was gonna go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scavs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You want to talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data bank to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks. Okay, that was way more simpler than I thought it was going to be, you know? But, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and head to her apartment. Not too far away. Maybe there were supposed to be guys there. And I already cleared it out. Or maybe it was just they were all whacked out. I don't really know. But easy job is easy. Oh, see? What the fuck? Hey. Alright guys, I've made it. I don't come in there and she's like having a seizure or something. It'll be the first mission all over again. Going on up to the deluxe apartment in the sky. Sandra! 
It's me, V. Got your data bank. Sandra, you in there? Are you alone? Can anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on. Don't like leaving the door open. Still worried about the scabs? My uh friend told me your memory'd be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about. Um, no, it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank. Nice place you got here. Tasteful. Thanks. Give it's me something the to work you're worried with about here. Than who? Look, I didn't pay you to come here and ask me personal questions. Hey, you mentioned it. Besides, I saved your life. That isn't worth anything. It was worth whatever you got paid. Don't pretend I wasn't just another small-time job for you. Now, did you bring the data bank? Here. Don't worry, it's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? I'm a professional. I have a reputation to uphold. Hmm, good. Then here you go, for your professionalism. I threw in a little extra for minding your own data. Thanks. Be seeing you. What? Thank you. All right, well, I hope she's okay, you know? I don't wanna... Something tells me I might hear from her again. All right. Going on down to those slums in the ground. I don't know why I just said that. All right, so uh, there was actually another one. Let's see, it was Judy's. No, we're not doing that. Uh, was it Claire? No. Ah, there it is. You overhear the saying, no good deed goes unpunished. You hold your hand out to someone, you get bitten. You help a poor soul in need, you get fleeced for all your worth. Save someone's life, fill in the blank. All right, well, I guess that's where we're headed next. So I will see you dudes and dudettes, ladies and gentlemen, at Judy's apartment. You get away from my car. Don't even think about taking it. I see you looking at it. How about you just piss off? Perdóname, por favor. I will pee. I will shoot you. Piss off. You better go. What are you doing? Just what are you doing? Oh, never mind. I gotta get out of here. All right, I have made it to Judy's apartment. Let's see what she needs. Oh my god, are there people outside? Are you seriously mowing the lawn? My mic is definitely going to be picking that up. Hello? Um, are you okay in there? Oh, shit. Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for Stop saving. talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. You, you checked your pulse? V Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. Northside, Jackson Street. No. 
No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! We're part of the dead, don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. They'll be here soon. <laughs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know, to you, she's your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. But they must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? The fucking PR rep? No, just saying. I'm gonna put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. I'm a cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. I don't know what to say. Never was any good at this stuff. Oh, you don't need to talk. I did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging and her virtues found Woodman. He kept her and had his way with her the things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. He puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. 
promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Oh, fuck. I did not expect that at all. So we're gonna kill Woodman, right? Like, revenge is on the, uh, the menu. Well, fuck. That was not at all what I was, uh, thinking it was going to be. I just thought she had, like... Huh? Oh. No, 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 no. I don't need any cars. Um. Wow. Uh. I can't say that I... I feel bad for, uh, Judy the most. Because you knew that, like... She she meant a lot to Judy, you know? And it's, it's just, it's just hard. You know, Evelyn Parker, we didn't really know her too well. You know, she was just kind of like a fixer for us. Uh, but she meant a lot to Judy. They were best friends and whatnot, but... Mmm. Mmm. I actually do feel a little bit uh, bad about Evelyn. Because she got herself in some deep shit. And she was just kind of trying to dig her way out of it. And unfortunately, she couldn't do it. I'm sorry, Judy. That, that's hard. That's... Uh, that's a raw deal. But life goes on. So let's go ahead and find another thing to do. I don't think I had another thing to do. No... I don't want to talk to Claire. No. I don't care about you. I don't really care about the shooting range. I don't really feel like unknown number, anonymous client, a secret hotel meetup. The aura of mystery around this one's so thick I need a machete to hack my way through it. You know what? It's so mysterious that I am, uh... I'm uh, kind of uh, intrigued, so let's go ahead and see what it is. Sh shall we? Uh, what was it? Let's see here. From the unknown sender. What the fuck do you want? No tell motel, room 210. Alright, well, I guess we're going to this motel. I'm gonna be fucking ready for anything. So, I'm just gonna cut to when I get there, folks. Cut! Alright. So I've made it. Wow, look at this place. If this isn't a fucking seedy joint, I don't know what is. We are going ready for this shit. I haven't tried this new pistol out yet. Actually, no. Tight quarters with the hotel. You know what we're bringing out. Uh, we are going to bring out a motherfucking shotgun! Oh, yeah, there is some seedy bullshit going on in here. Shouldn't have, to be honest. Why not? 
Normally only work with fixers. Clients that avoid him tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. Mm-hmm. And why is that, if I might ask? This is why. Fuck me. It's you. Huh? It's me, Lizzie Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's talk. Lizzie Wizzy? Who are you kidding? Okay. So what's this about? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. Uh-huh. And what kind? <sighs> Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. Not the worst thing in the world. It is to me. I have something to say, and that, it's a distraction. I need to focus on my art. So, we're talking a man, woman? Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but I think he's cheating on me. Okay. Why the suspicion? Uh, it's so cliched, it's embarrassing. Whispered phone calls in the bathroom, strange receipts, secret meetings in the middle of the night. Any specific event come to mind? <laughs> My mind... That's... That's a touchy subject. Why? Don't know each other well enough for that, V. You... Talk to him at all? Tell him to his face? <laughs> You're adorable. Imagine this. We're never alone. Not really. Always surrounded by assistants, PR reps, makeup artists. I stop smiling at him for one millisecond, it'll be all over every scream sheet in this town. Understood. No, you don't understand. Not until you've lived it. Millions of eyes trained on you constantly. It can be beautiful and terrifying. Liam Northam. Nope, don't know him. Tell me about him. Forty-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. I heard they exist. How'd you meet? <sighs> He's my manager. I know. I know how it sounds. I never meant to. He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome, but the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. So what's my role here? What do you want? Proof. And then I'll end things. For good. Liam goes to Riot all the time. I think he meets someone there. I want to know who. You'll find out for me? count on me. Perfect. Remember, I want specifics. Details. Recordings or pics if you can. Sure. Keep it in mind. Good. Now go. Okay, I guess she's like famous or something. I haven't heard of her until now. If I did, I don't care. Okay. Well, that's not exactly what I thought it was. That's happening quite a lot, actually. I go to a mission, and I have... Uh, it's uh, not really what I thought it was going to happen. Alright, well, let's go see if uh, this guy's actually cheating. Or maybe she's jumping to conclusions. Let's all admit he's probably being a cheating bastard. Okay. Um, excuse me. Mm. You look okay. Go in. No messing around. Why, thank you. Know what? You got an interesting face. 
So was it surgery or? How about you shut the fuck up? Mm. You look okay. Go in. No messing around. Looking for a guy. Name's Liam. Liam Northam. Know where I could find him? No, you can fuck off, Merc. I ain't talking. Okay, Jesus Christ, man. I just asked you a simple question. Damn. People just can't be helpful sometimes, you know? You're just like, I'm looking for somebody. Well, let's ask the bartender. Bartenders always know. Excuse me, missus. Hey, Linda. Champagne to the VIP room, stat. Okay, just let me give three there, check. Busy night, huh? Real busy, yeah. Looking to spill your sorrows? This ain't the time. Looking for Liam. Liam Northam. Ah, <sighs> that one. Fuck. Can't stand that gunk. Bad tipper. Uh-huh. Plus, he's a jackass. Output's even worse. Output, huh? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, where's he at? You know I can't tell you that. Can't, huh? But know what I can do? Crush your skull like a can of Nicola. Think if you really want to say no. Use that skull sponge while you still got it. In the VIP room with some new output. Ordered champagne, so it's a party. But, um, you didn't hear it from me, yeah? Sure. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> I was like, I'll split your skull open, dude. <laughs> Right. All right. So let's see here. I had no idea that was an elevator. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um, I guess we're going down to the ground floor. Right. Let's see what's here. Okay. Files. Okay. Uh, let's turn it off and take it over. Champagne. Nice surprise. Uh, consider it a token of my gratitude. I know you don't often agree to use the relic, but well, you don't usually make an engram of a living person either. Oh, uh, come on. Arasaka's taken a keen interest in Lizzie's career. Be a shame if it ended prematurely. A backup copy seems to be the most sensible solution. About that. Once you made the backup, can you tweak it to remove undesirable traits? Because Lizzie, ever since her conversion, she... she hasn't been herself. I'm afraid that's impossible. Engrams saved in the Secure Your Soul program cannot be edited. But how significant would these edits be? Significant. Sometimes, sometimes I don't even recognize her. Other times, uh, ne never mind. Let's have a drink. To our partnership. Oh, fuck. You heard what I just heard, right? Relic. They want to do her like they did me. Not exactly. They wiped you. Here, they just want to make a backup. A backup? V, we're talking about a person. 
Now Gervais snaps. Guy didn't even ask. He's just going behind her back. He's got no right to do it. Nobody has that right. Especially without her knowing. Ah, oh, shit. How do I even tell her? Don't have to. Camera in there. Where there's a cam, there's footage. Okay, well, that was it's definitely worse than cheating. Way worse than cheating. All right. Um Yeah. Hello? V? What's up? Got some intel on Liam. And is it what I thought? No. Worse, Lizzie. Much, much worse. What do you mean? Listen, don't know the deeds. But Liam, he... He wants your engram. Wants to copy you. What? But why? He said... He said he's afraid. For you. And of you. No, I don't believe it. You hear me? Not a single word. You're lying. Got the data to prove it. Here, listen for yourself. No, no. It's... No. Fuck! Okay, I guess we're done. Well, um, we're probably going to have a call from her soon, telling us to ice that motherfucker. Or we're here like a news, or she'll kill him herself, and we'll hear it on the news. Okay, let's see. Do I have time for one more? Should I do one more? These haven't exactly been the most action-packed things, so I'm going to do one more for you guys, because I love you guys. You guys are the best. I just, I love you guys. Reported crime, salt in progress. I don't want to do anything too ambitious. So I think a crime in progress is what the doctor ordered. So let's go do that. Oh, that's right. I'm blocking traffic. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. That's not too far away. I'll just go ahead and drive so you guys can see my horrible driving. It still just doesn't feel like I have total control. Feels a lot looser than it actually needs to be. Oh my god, like I barely tapped left there. And I went flying. My driving is shit, but like I did not mean to do that. There it is. Also, I keep missing turns. That might be like a me problem, but like, I don't know. I feel like the map for like the GPS could be a little better. Um, I actually want to try a uh, hang on. Yeah, I have that new pistol I want to try. Shooting range? No, 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 no. This was... No, no, no. We were not doing a shooting range. Did I say shooting range? I didn't mean to do that. I said... Crime in progress. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to tell me. Uh, it's not too far away. We'll just go ahead and jog right over there. Get out of the way, homie. Um, can I ask what's going on over here? Get the cover! You 
You can stop that nonsense. No, you don't. <laughs> this guy's like, get into cover! Oh, I'm gonna fucking flank your bitch ass. Take that. I will take your ammo. Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff here. What is this? Flexing increases. Oh, nice. Hit. Okay. Gorilla arms. Nice. Interesting. Hang on, let me check something. Uh, where is it? Ah, cyberware. I don't think I have anything. I have mods? Oh, that's right. I forgot about my mods. Uh, let's see here. Causes the target to exit combat state. Nice. Snap this bird out. Jam the weapons. Uh, I have short circuit and reboot optics. I like the reboot optics. Uh, so I will replace this one with a uh, crippled movement. And then. Blade. Physical damage. What is this? Mantis blades deal physical damage due to their blades inherently fast attack speed and combos. They can rapidly deal devastating damage, granting a higher chance to dismember the enemy. Very effective against an individual target. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Oh, that's right. I have new stuff. 110. That's definitely staying. All right, folks. Well, I'll figure all this stuff out uh, next time because unfortunately that is all the time. Huh? I don't know what that is. What? Why is there so much shit here? Oh, it's out there. Okay. Well, never mind. Unfortunately, this is all the time I have for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So, as always, if you guys like this episode, you know what you gotta do. I love you guys, and I'll see you next episode.